A few years ago, I was visiting a very dear friend of mine, and uh, I see him once or twice every few years, and he's a musician and instrument collector. He's got all kinds of music of instruments from all over the world. And I'm always rooting around in his pile, and I found one of these uh, tank, tone, or tongue drums in the pile that he had recently acquired. And I began to play it, and immediately I was very, very attracted to it. Um, I've played a little bit of guitar in my life, and I always enjoyed the harmonics on a guitar. And this particular instrument uh, seemed like it was producing that harmonic-like tone. And uh, it was a very simple design, and it was obviously made from a propane tank. And I happened to be working on a, another musical instrument project that I was doing some research on, and ran across um, a website uh, that was put out by the inventor of this particular drum. His name is, uh, this, the inventor was De Dennis Heveling. And he had uh, figured out a way to create a scale of notes in the top of a propane tank. And he was extremely generous to publish that information and all his research online and actually publish a template uh, of making the tongues or, or, or tones uh, in a D minor pentatonic scale. So having played the instrument, I knew I really loved it loving to make things, and uh, now knowing exactly what I needed to do to do it, I got my tools together and uh, began to work on them and produced them. Um, that drum uh, was made just like Dennis's first drum from a full-size propane grill tank. And uh, since then, I have made modifications of my own to suit uh, the musicality that I'm interested in and the different keys that I'm interested in, that sort of thing. There are many things that draw me to making these drums. They seem to bring together a lot of different aspects of myself into one thing. And, and very specifically, when you, if you just want to talk about it from the musical standpoint, the way these drums connect percussion and melody. I like to make things. And, uh, and, and one of the things about art is that you're, you're, you're all the time trying to transform something, okay? You're trying to turn trash often into treasure. And here is another case where you can do that. You are taking something that can't even be thrown away. somebody like me comes along with, a, with something to do with them, then they're glad to let me have 40 or 50 of them if they've got them on hand. And uh, These old tanks have a character of their own. Each one has been left outside a little longer than the other one, or they got a different kind of paint on it, or one is made by one company and one is made by another company. Each tank has a different character to it. 